Get your motor running Head out on the highway Looking for adventure In whatever comes our way Born to be wild Hello, welcome to the Costa Rica Travel Channel. I'm D'Angelo. And I'm Michael Allen, and this is another segment of Travel Tips. Today's tip's going to be all about laundry mats and how they're popping up all over Costa Rica. You know, I just think they're popping up because I think they realize there's money to be made in dirty laundry. <laughs> well, they're popping up like this one here. And this one? And this one here. Now, most major hotels down here in Costa Rica will have a laundry service provided in the hotel, although they will um, charge you for it. And you know what, even some of the smaller places, the cabinas you might run across, maybe the smaller mom and pop places, they also, sometimes you just gotta ask. Sometimes they'll even do it for free. Now if you don't go to a mom and pop hotel and you don't go to a major hotel that has a laundry service, there are laundry mats around Costa Rica, but they tend to be on the pricey side. Hello. They price you based on the weight of your clothing. The weight? Well, when, when do they weigh it? I mean, what if it's all wet and damp and dirty and from adventure tours and it could weigh a thousand pounds. Uh, they, they weigh it at the end when they're done washing it and they're ready to hand it back to you. Well, that's nice. <laughs> um, normally though, when you're going that route, you have to budget yourself. In the U.S., laundry service isn't that expensive, but for down here in Costa Rica, you're going to have to double or triple that amount just to get some laundry done. See this bag right here? Not 10 minutes ago, saw a bag exactly like this, $28 U.S. to get this laundered. Pretty pricey. Now there are a few things you might want to consider before having your laundry done here. Yeah, like are you going to have enough time? Because if you need your laundry like the next day even, or you need it that day, a lot of these mom and pops at Cabina places, they don't even have dryers, okay? They hang it up, and then the other problem with, it, with Costa Rica, as I'm sure you're probably aware, it can be very humid here, and it can rain a lot, you know? So sometimes that stuff is just out on the line. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> exactly. But it is the rainforest, so it may take a while to dry. Especially with the humidity. And then the other thing is, with that, sometimes when you get your clothes back, which has happened to us, they, tend, they can be a little damp, and I think we all know what happens if your clothes are a little damp. The price goes up. That's what happens. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the weight. <laughs> the other thing you might want to just ask, you got to remember, not only do they, a lot of people not have dryers except for the major places and, you know, some of the, the bigger laundry mats, but they also don't necessarily use hot water. So it's just something that you just want to consider. So your whites aren't going to be coming crispy white clean, you know? <laughs> exactly. So those are just some of the things you might want to think about if you want to get your laundry done in Costa Rica. It's definitely doable. Think about it. Maybe budget for it. Anything like that? I think that's it. Hi, right, from the Costa Rica Travel Channel. I'm Michael Allen and... I'm D'Angelo. Peace.